Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at how we can export our game to the internet and we're going to use gdevelop and the first thing we're going to do in gdevelop is in our game we're going to go in the file menu and export and you'd think here that you would want to export uh, to Android or the web online but we actually have to go to a local folder uh, because we're going to use itch.io which allows us a free place to put our game onto the web and um, they want a zip file and we're going to make an HTML5 game and if you make an HTML5 game you might think that you could just play it on your computer but you need a website to play it off of uh, for the most part. So we're going to go and build a local folder and we then will choose a folder to export. So we push the button here that says choose folder. And I'm just going to put it in my music. I made a folder here called gdevelop. And I'll select that and export. It takes about uh, 30 seconds or so to sort of compile all the files and put it all together. Great. Once you've finished the export, we're done. Um, I, I can even close off uh, gdevelop if I'd like and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the files in the folder so you'll see we had a folder called gdevelop and in gdevelop it made all of these uh, javascript and flags and you'll see there's our web page called index so it's got all these different things all the assets uh, that I need and so what I need to do next is to export to itch I just want to export one file. I don't want to keep going upload this file and upload that file and upload that file and so forth. So what I do is I can select everything, all sorts of different ways to select everything. I'm going to just click on the first item, go to the last item, uh, zap effect and uh, press shift and click. And with everything selected, I can right click and I can on this computer send it to tell it to zip it up into a single file called a compressed zip folder. And so it's going to take all those files and it's going to turn them into one single file and it calls it uh, slime, but I'm going to call it uh, platformer uh, game. And now every single file, if you take a look at uh, the file I have, it, it's a single file, but if you double click on it, you'll actually see it's a whole bunch of files and it's called a, a zip. Uh, if you don't know what a zip is, take a search for it and uh, find out what a zip is. Very useful if you want to move things um, on the internet. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my itch.io. So I click on itch.io and I'm going to click on dashboard. So in the dashboard of itch.io, you'll see everything I have here. I've already made a game. Um, I'm just going to click edit to show you what you need to do to publish it. And in fact, I'm going to publish this new one that I've got. So the first thing is you need to give it a name. So I called it platformer. Um, it's going to come up with a URL. And so my URL, so if I want someone to play it on their uh, cell phone, they can just go HTTPS gregpoy.itch.io slash platformer. Um, on here, the next thing you want to say is the type of project. It's a HTML. And it says here you have a zip or HTML file and we have a zip. So the kind of project you want to select here is HTML. And then what I want to do is it says, okay, where is the file? So I'm going to delete the one I previously had. And I'm going to click the button here to upload a file. So I'm going to click upload file and I'll go to that music folder and oops in the music folder I've got gdevelop and in gdevelop uh, the zip file called platformer is right here so it looks like it's a single file uh, which it is uh, but it's a compressed file which actually has a bunch of files uh, glued together there you go it uploaded it and the other thing I need to do here is I need to tell it it's mobile friendly. So I put a check mark here by mobile friendly. 
Other things I should do is, is come up with a description of what this is all about. You could click a genre as well. Um, I've taken a cover image. I should also probably add a screenshot. I'll do that in a later time. I won't take your time right now. And I press save. And now it's on the internet and anyone can uh, go play it by simply going to that URL. And the URL was gregpoy.itch.io slash platformer. And here is my web page. It's going to load my web page. And if anyone clicks on the run game, if, whether they have um, a web browser on a PC or on a mobile device, it will play. And there's my game that I've made. Uh, comes up with a little splash screen. And here you go. And you can see I can uh, play my game. I just uh, go through here. and I can go up and I can jump and I can jump on the enemies. And it's all working uh, just great.